someone I can trust, someone I can tell anything to and know it's not going to get out, and someone who's a good person in their heart. It can't be easy being Paris Hilton. When you're as famous for being famous as she is, everyone wants a piece of you. And a minor indiscretion tonight could end up on tomorrow's front page. But it seems this heiress could care less. You know, yeah, obviously, like, I sometimes think everybody's always watching me. There's never not someone looking at me or, or taking a picture. So it gets hard, but, you know, that's the business I've chose to be in. And you just have to live with it. That pragmatic approach to life in the public eye has no doubt evolved over the decade or so since Paris began parading herself at parties, premieres, fashion shows and the odd opening of an envelope. While she can afford to be a little more choosy nowadays about the photo opportunities she decides to say yes to, in the early days it was all about maximum exposure. When the cameras turned on, so did Paris. She may have got slightly more exposure than even she could have wished for when she agreed to let then-boyfriend Rick Salomon tape their lovemaking back in 2003. And when the video turned up on the internet, entitled One Night in Paris, it looked like she'd finally bitten off more than she could chew. Proving himself to be a wily businessman as well as a love rat, Rick then struck a distribution deal with a DVD company and even gave an introduction at the start of each scene on the video. He then had the kahunas to sue Paris for defamation for publicly claiming that she'd been out of it when the tape was being made. She, in turn, sued over the release of the video and was awarded $400,000. The video went on to bag three adult video news awards for best-selling title of the year, best renting title of the year, and best overall marketing campaign. And it's fair to say that while Paris appeared deeply disgruntled about the film, its release just three months ahead of the debut of her MTV series, The Simple Life, must have had the show's producers rubbing their hands with glee. A few months later, while still glowing red from that embarrassment, she was faced with the humiliating task of ringing round all her celebrity mates and confessing that someone had hacked into her phone. The numbers and email addresses of A-listers like Eminem, Vin Diesel, Lindsay Lohan and Christina Aguilera, to name but a few, had found their way onto the web. No doubt many of the same celebrities wasted no time in changing their contact details again six years later, after Paris lost her phone in a nightclub. Just to make things even more tantalising for enterprising hangers-on, she also lost track of her digital camera. And as her sister Nikki knows, there has never been any shortage of opportunists on the lookout to cash in. Yes, there's definitely been a lot of users in her life. I don't think it's necessary to name names, it's pretty obvious. Um, so I think that she really was looking for someone who does not care about the spotlight, that at all. Someone who just genuinely wanted to hang out with her and liked her for her and no other reason. Perhaps her protective sis was having a bit of a side swipe at her former bestie and party partner, Nicole Ritchie, with whom she co-starred in The Simple Life. The pair went from being inseparable to becoming arch enemies overnight back in 2004. While neither of them officially gave reasons for the feud, rumours abounded that Nicole fell foul of the heiress by screening one night in Paris for friends at a party. The next series of A Simple Life was canned and Paris moved on. I'm doing a scripted show, Ryan Seacrest and I are producing it, and it's, uh, can't really tell the idea yet, but it's very, very cool. It's gonna be funny. It's really funny, it's, a, it's comedy. Even more funny was the fact that the two feuding socialites were dating the same guy. Well, almost. While Nicole and good Charlotte frontman Joel Madden were expecting their first child, Paris was flaunting her new relationship with Joel's twin brother, Benji. I'm very excited. Everything's going phenomenally well. Everything's really successful. I have an amazing relationship. I just bought a really beautiful new home, so I just, my life has never been better. I just feel really at peace and really grateful for life. 
Unfortunately, it was clear that she still had a lesson or two to learn about discretion, when a few months after announcing her intention to marry Benji on The David Letterman Show, the pair confirmed they had split, much to Nicole's alleged delight. Still, the latest dent in her dignity is unlikely to prove more than a minor setback in Paris's quest for world domination. With several films, a book, an album, a jewellery line, four fragrances, a porn video and a prison sentence behind her, she's aiming far higher than simply inheriting the family business. You know, I'm already building my own empire and I have so much going on that I wouldn't need to and I'm already doing my own Hotel Parises, so they're not going to be Hilton's, they're going to be my own boutique hotels. So, I'll be their competition. <laughs>